Okay, we're ready. Sorry I'm a little late. I was just I was I just woke up late. Well, let's get this going. Let's get to all nine. So last time uh, we were playing, we basically did everything in the main game except fight the final boss. Also, Hunter's Dream is on fire. But yeah, we I think we've done everything in, uh, in the base game. But before we go fight the final boss, which is over at a tree... Like, down that way. We're going to do the DLC. I already got it opened up. So let's get it started. Come on, wait for a glow. Okay, so we're at, we're at the Hunter's Nightmare. Looks like it's just the same church, though. I can't go backwards. That's not a staircase. There's no pathway there. There is a door here, but it does not open from this side. So it's just a must, uh, messed up version of the same, uh, of the same area. Okay. It's a weird looking. Actually, I, is that that might be the sun? No, everything's nighttime in this game. Wait one second. Okay, so what do we got here? So far, nothing. Well, hi there. Oh my god. Sir, I have done nothing to you. You were just very rude. That was rude, sir. Potions. Okay. I don't know if he guarantees the, those drops, but we'll figure it out. Old Hunter's cap. Nothing here. Can't open this up. Can't open that up. We gotta find another way around. And it already feels like I'm at a dead end. One second. There we go. Yeah, again. Oh, the enemy must be on the other side. Yep. Okay, there's gotta be something I missed already. A, a secret pathway to the side? Specters. No. Ah. Go up this hill, I guess. Twin blood shards. Can we... I don't think we can go up that way. Okay, so we need to go up and around. Saw something there. Well, okay, another hunter who just takes out the goons for me. Okay. Up. 
Okay, they seem to drop potions just consistently. Blood vials, okay. This section. Just some wolf dudes. At least I think they're wolves. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Okay, they are beasts. Takes three hits. We got another hunter. Another two hunters. Okay, now to be fair, I did attack you first. And I'm trapped in a corner. Okay. Dude, I'm dead. Leave me alone. Now, I guess the real question is do they respawn? That's the real question. Because they are hunters, and most of the time the humanoid, like, enemies don't seem to respawn. So I'll find out. Okay, they do respawn. I think I'm going to try the hammer next time. Maybe it can stagger him enough. I think I want to go this way. Because I want to make sure... At least one of the hunters is separated. Oh, great. Dogs. Where are you? got you. I think that's it. Hold on. Oh, great. I didn't know you were here. Good. The hammer will stun lock him. That's nice. Can we go in? I can go this way. Okay, good. Pebbles. Apparently I used one up somewhere. Open this up. Well, hi there. Perfect. Blood gems. And this was the way over here, back to the entrance. Okay, so we open this up. That's nice. Let's go up here. Got some wolves. Okay, they can draw, drop potions. We got another hunter. Get out of here. And you, you know what? You might have potions. Let me look. Yay, potions. 
I could go up the stairs, or I could head down. I can see that. Go ahead, light it up. Been a while since uh, I had to deal with that. And what's up there? Was that a hunter? Probably. Oh, I see two hunters. Oh. They just got their ass kicked. And now my, I'm about to get my ass kicked. Well, hi there. Uh, I am trapped in a corner. There we go. You're gonna try to heal us. Oh no, shockwave. Done, easy. Potions, perfect. More potions. That's about all I really get anyway. What's down here? Oh, does this lead to the... That little church area? There's a hunter over there with some turrets. Don't know if I should be going this way. That's a lot of turrets. Do I need to go around? I might need to go around. Oh, let me let me back away. Let me take a look. I'm gonna take a look inside the church. See what's going on. There's, there's also the big open area down there that I could go back down and explore a bit. What do we got here? Boss fight? Probably. Probably boss fight. An eye pendant. Seems safe right now. Where's this eye pendant? An eye pendant which unlocks the surgery altar. There are two cathedrals in the hunter's dream. One lies past the river of blood. Another contains the private research hall of the Healing Church. Only chosen members of the Healing Church, or their lamentable patients, can enter the research hall using this eye. Grant eyes to the surgery altar skull. Alright. Good thing I double-backed. Yeah, I could check back down there. See if I missed something. There's also this direction. Cocktails, okay. And this is, okay, so there's nothing over here where the forest would end up going to. You know what, let's check back down here why I miss this completely side area. Old hunter garb. Okay. Do 
Jeez, there's a lot of side areas right here. Although I think I was already up here or something. Okay. Back down. See some dogs. And a hunter. I was gonna say, he's gonna shoot at me, isn't he? You see, old hunter, I have the high ground! That was your biggest mistake! It's over, hunter! What the? Okay, who shot at me? Oh, there's a turret here. Okay. Okay, let's explore this for a bit. There's another hunter. Just kind of standing in the corner. I feel like there's like other wolves or wolfmen just kind of nearby gonna sneak behind me Okay, I think we cleared out this section of enemies anyway. There could be another hunter, maybe? Not sure. Oh, nope. Still more wolves. Perfect. There's a lot of wolves over here. Potions, potions, potions. Okay, what do we got here? Potions. <laughs> okay, we can't go through here. Gate shut. That might be permanently shut. What about this way? Opens from the other side. Okay, it was just the note, so maybe that never opens or something. Or maybe we need to go to the other side, I'm not sure. Potions. Okay. Uh, I think we need to... Hold on, I, can I get over here to the left? Maybe if, if I fall from up here. Yeah, there's some guys here. Well, hi. We got another hunter here. Now, because I, I'm guessing you're mad because I took your kill. But you see, uh, we're just fighting wolves anyway, so why does it matter? Oh, you're trying to upgrade too. Man, you don't stagger much, do you? Okay. 
using up a lot of my potions, but that's okay. He's gonna probably drop like three. And I'm dead. Okay. You know, if he's this tough of an enemy, he must be guarding something pretty good. Must be guarding something pretty good. So far, this area isn't that bad. My hammer can stagger, and my saw blade takes care of the beast, so I got a pretty good combo here. See? Easy. over here oh right that's where you jump down from and I can't climb back up and you can drop potions nope okay head up here get rid of you Uh, you know what? Before I walk up and deal with the hunter I died to, let's get rid of the hunter that's down here. Oh no, the hunter was not distracted, except he is going to be. There we go. You see, hunter, you have been distracted. Now it's a perfect time for me to take you while you don't even know I'm here. See? It was a, it was a bold strategy, for sure. Up here. Now, let's see if I could get rid of the hunter that killed me. Got close. Luckily, I think the wolves actually have my stuff. Got it. I was gonna try to get him with the. Tr oh, I, I fell off. All oh, right, the turret. I get rid of that first. Okay, it's just you and me, mono e mono. It's a lot of damage. He doesn't get staggered much, though. It's probably best for me to just get a quick hit in and back away. I fell off. That's okay. Gives me a second to heal up. And you're chasing me down. Oh. 
Get out of here. He must be guarding some cool stuff. Right? Right? Or is it just a potion? It might just be a potion. Okay. Over here. Can I... No, I... There's nothing up here. I just went up here for basically nothing. Okay, never mind. Oh, never mind. We get a beast cutter. Okay, so he was guarding this. That's a new weapon, isn't it? Trick weapon wielded by old hunters. Iron cleaver slices through the toughest of beast hides. And when transformed, the blade splits into sections, allowing one to lash... Uh, use it as a whip. This crude weapon relies on brute force and is regrettably inelegant, suggesting that the huts, the hunts of the earliest hunters made for horrific affairs, painted in sanguine blacks and reds. Okay. So we get the whip sword. Man, this feels like, uh, you know, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Potion? Vermin. What is that? Let's see. It's in here. There we go. Centipede-like creature discovered on the successful hunts by the League hunters. Vermin found hidden within filth are often seen by League confederates and are the root of, the, of man's impurity. The League has assumed the task of finding and crushing all vermin. Perhaps there are, perhaps there is some mercy in the madness. Those who wish to see vermin can, and those who choose to are provided with boundless purpose. Alright, let's head back up here. takes care of a few of them. Is there another one? Nope. My potion. Swap to my hammer. They're gonna open the door and they're gonna die. Actually, I could just leave them be. I don't need to go in there. I already went in there. Let's go this way. Where I need to go. Can I lock on? No, I can't. Time to get past the turrets. Oh my god, there was a turret. Can I lock onto it? No. That's weird. Okay, one turret down. I think I need to go back that way. Can I crawl through here? Uh, yes? No? Okay, no. Can't do that. Come on. Okay, I did one, I didn't see you, and two, I could easily kill the guy with probably just the saw blade. Thought I needed to swap to the hammer. Okay. I could get back there. That's not that bad. Honestly, one more hit and I would have been safe. Oh, well, I was trying to heal. Wait, this way. There we go. Ha! 
How did you miss? I was right there. I don't even think I dodged. Might as well restock. I could probably ignore the giant ravens. I should probably get rid of you. Perfect. Hunter over here. We got the wolves. I don't think any of them got hit by the boulder. Perfect. We'll let them be. They'll just die to the big guy. So it's fine. So the turret is behind that cart. Over here. stuff back. There's another turret. Perfect. Now I can get rid of you. Oh no, I can't. I can't grab more bullets. Okay, two guys down there. I'm just keeping an eye out for turrets. I'm not seeing any. Oh no, there's three guys here. No, four. Let's back away. Great. Another one with a hammer, and I'm trapped in a corner. Oh my god, I couldn't get out of there. Don't know why this one can get stun locked, but I'm not gonna complain. Not gonna complain about it. But for some reason, that one got stun locked. Whereas the other one with the hammer doesn't. Wait. Oh, they got time bombs. That's new, but it seems like it's just an upgraded version of the cocktails. Or, I don't even know if upgrade's the right word, but you know, it's basically a Molotov. Twin bullets and shards. Nothing here. Okay. Well, at least I can restock on cocktails, I guess. What do we got inside this building? Hmm. Delayed Molotov, okay. That was the time bomb thing, okay. two enemies I can barely see because th this room is too dark and I think I know exactly where, where I am right now. I think I recognize this room. Old Hunter Top Hat. I'm not really, a th I'm not looking forward to that section. Okay. I have to I have to 
drop down here. Let's see. I should probably head that way. After getting rid of you first. Come on. I'm trying to get away. You know what? Maybe if I just run away, get up the stairs, and then stun lock you. Okay, what else do we got? Yeah, I'm not a fan of what's down there. See that guy. Good. Oh, just fantastic. Okay, good. They're they're leaving. Oh, it's because of you. You led them up here. Do I need to dodge roll to get that off me? Probably. Are you going to head back up here or what? What are you going to do? Okay. I, I think the AI on this little cre on this creature is a little confused. There we go. I think maybe I can leave them alone. Where does this take me? I know there's a hunt there's at least one hunter, but there's probably two. Oh. I, I, was that a bad thing. I Did I jump the gun? I might have jumped the gun. Hold on. Maybe I'll run away. Maybe he'll calm down. We'll try that again. We'll start over. <laughs> What's up here? Constable gloves. Okay. And I can't jump down there. So yeah, I was going the right way. It's just I jumped the gun. Is it too late, though? Is it too late? Yep. Yeah, that, that, that's my bad. But there's no talking anymore, is it? I guess there never was. That's on me. Yeah, that's on me. Simon's Bowblade. Okay. Well, at least we got a weapon out of that, and we created a shortcut. I might as well restock on potions. Go back to the dream. Maybe level up. Yeah, yeah, waits at the tree. Very well. Let me... What do we got? Right, I was focusing on arcane to boost my defenses. Farewell, good hunter. May you find... Can I... 
repair and do anything. Yeah, can I make a level 10? We made a level 10. Hell yeah. And we had the one, but that's okay. We got a level... Oops. Wasted that. We got a level 10 Kirk Hammer. Huzzah. Right. The, the grave's over here. Let's go back. And right now, just working on Arcane for def magic defense. Everything else is at 30. It, I was told 30 is kind of a soft cap, so... And honestly, I don't need more strength. <laughs> honestly, my strength is already good enough. I... Wish I didn't jump the gun, so I don't know what his whole deal was. <laughs> oh well. Get rid of these things. Oh, come on. I mean, look, this guy distracted him for a bit. That was nice. But it's like, dude, we're, we're destroying the same things. Okay, let's funnel him. Hey, Hawkhorn Dog, how's it going? How's it going, Hawkhorn Dog? Uh, messed around in Hunter's Dream. Uh, I jumped the gun and fought Simon. I got his bow blade. And, uh, I don't know what his deal was, because I jumped the gun and just attacked him thinking he was just a normal enemy. I need to get. back away he's a nice dude oh oops <laughs> well i already the thing is i already attacked him and even though i like tried running away and backing away it was too late <laughs> so the time for talking was over apparently which you know what it's fair It's too bad I, you know, that I jumped the gun, though. But hey, I got a weapon out of it, so there is that trade-off. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm dead. I mean, as, as you can see, I have to get through this blood river with these annoying enemies. There's also a problem in from other songs, but even in one. There's a way to reset friendly NPC aggro. Oh, there is? It just didn't seem that obvious. What was I... So, I already attacked him. What was I supposed to do? Just leave the area and come back? Like, open the door and go back to Hunter's Dream?
away. I don't think I need you. Never try it here because you, you always lock onto things before attacks. So I always don't attack friendly NPCs. Yeah, I just kind of jumped the gun on this one. Don't know why. I think it's just because there were just so many hunters that just constantly attacked me. But I thought he was another one. Come on, head up here. Yeah, he's not going away. It's usually a statue of Velka. In, I'm assuming Dark, Soul, Dark Souls 1 through 3, okay. Come on. I, uh, I could try running away. And you know what? Maybe I could ignore those guys and just go this way. Okay, maybe we can open this up. Oh, hey, doggos. Okay, what do we got? You know, there's just a ton of blood in this nightmare. Is this where the blood is born? Did we find it? Did we find the, bl the birth of the blood? In this nightmare? No? Oh, we didn't find it. Okay. Oh, great. We gotta deal with ravens. And this hunter. Dodged too soon. That's okay. I'm stun locking him. And good. I'll see eventually why there's so much blood here. Okay. At least there's an answer. By the way, so I picked up the beast cutter. So I have this now. And because I defeated Simon, I got the si I got Simon's bow blade, which is a blood attack apparently. So I got a question about the blow the bow blade. Is killing him the only way to get the bow blade or by, or if I was just talking to him, would he have given me the bow blade? Yeah, I'd probably just head up the ladder. No, what? Can I interact with this? Nope. Okay. He appears after a certain boss again, and he gives it to you. Oh, okay, so you'll get it no matter what. That's good to know. Wasn't sure if it was one of those decisions be like, oh, you could be a good person and just leave him alone. But you won't get a weapon for it. Or you could kill him. And get a weapon. Oh, I'm not a fan of this. I am trying to get away, sir. You are just being very rude. S 
sir. At least I'm getting my health back. Oh, come on. And I'm dead. There we go. So, how much is there to do in the DLC, Hotcorn Dog? Like, is this just a short area or, like, actual. Is it, uh, is it easier to ask how many boss fights there are? Just, and that would give me a rough idea of how big the DLC is. Or is it easier to say how many hours the DLC might take? I don't know. But that also depends on skill. I don't know. I'm not assuming I, I'm not assuming I'm close, but I just wondering like a rough idea of how much of the DLC there is. There's a good amount to do. Okay, and the DLC was only like twenty bucks, so sounds like I'm gonna be here for a little bit. Was there one more? Guess not. Yeah, yeah. Give it to you. Okay, I guess don't get staggered. That makes sense. I better double up on the healing. Oh, come on. No. Hit him. There we go. Finally. I thought you were one of the ones I already killed. I yeah, better heal. The distance from the first boss to the second boss is long. The second and the third is really short. The third to the fourth is long. Fifth boss is optional. Okay, so a good five bosses in the DLC. That's a decent amount. Okay. So we got a bit to do. Now to do something about this. How am I gonna get through? Maybe I should ignore that guy. Go after this one with the ax. And, come on, back away. Uh. No. Go after the same one. Yeah, he has my stuff. That was a mistake. Aggro both of them. You know what? You can have my stuff. Backing out. Going this way. Where did this take me?
Well, hi there. I mean, to be fair, he was just mining his own faces. So, a way to open this up? Nope. Okay. Okay, I can summon. I, I will not do that. Pebbles. You know, if there's a summon... If there's a summon, that must mean that we're close to a boss. And where did you come from? I don't even know where she came from. I just heard running. I'm like, what the hell? All right. Well, this looks like a boss arena if I ever saw one. Ludwig, okay. Now we know a bit about him. Jeez, Ludwig, what happened to you? <laughs> Boss fight. I need to heal up. I'm trying to heal up. I'm not prepared. This is not a good starting. Uh, okay, come on. Okay, this did not go. Honestly, nothing happened. I just couldn't get my footing. Okay. Could not get my footing. Just got to try it again and hope I just figure it out. Okay. Got to head back. Sadly, there wasn't really a shortcut, was there? Yeah, there wasn't a faster way. Well, that sucks. I basically have a I basically have a gauntlet to go through. Oh come on, I missed. I was right there. Take a look at that here in a second, popcorn dog. Pass these enemies. Get rid of you. Alright, the one hunter is still alive. It wasn't that far of a drop. Okay. I, I think I'll just make a run for it. Two doggos. Okay. The area with the two big dudes. One with the big cannon, one with the melee. Go right instead of immediately towards the boss. There must be a shortcut is probably what you're implying. Yeah. 
So this is just a dead end. Just a few more dire ravens. You know, when they're all grouped together like that, it's kind of hard to tell which ones the real, which ones the, are the ones that I already killed. Yeah, nothing there. There's a route that way. Wait, why not? Yeah, you know what? Let's fall here. Where does this take me? Where do I get out of here? Didn't know there was a hunter here? stamina. There we go. Potions. Okay, what does this give me? Beast Hunter's Scythe. Okay. I'm guessing that's the weapon the one guy was just using. Trick weapon used by the old hunters. A second blade is found inside the curve of the main one in its initial form. The safe can be wielded like a long curved sword, but when transformed, its blade is contracted, allowing for quick repeated stabs. Although this trick weapon allows for adaptive combat, it was later replaced by saws and similar weapons that were more effective at disposing of beasts. It's good to get that going. At this point, I'm basically committed to the the hammer and the saw blade. I'm assuming New Game Plus lets you keep all your weapons. So you could start with them. That is my guess. I'm not sure. Okay, so there is something else in this area. So you're saying go to the right. This way, okay. Oh, there's a pathway down. And a lantern. Oh, that's nice. I don't think I can level up, so I don't think there's a reason to go back yet. Let's go ahead and head down here. You're not getting away from me. Bloodstone chunk, okay. Huh, what's... What's over here? I see the shadow. I thought he was just going to stay staggered, but nope, not the case. This is not the best place to fight. Okay, well, I'm dead. 
Weapon levels, echoes, items that aren't key items, clothes, and guns. Yeah, I had a feeling New Game Plus would just let you keep all your stuff, or most of your stuff. So basically everything but key items transfer over. That's cool. Well, hi there. He's like, how dare, how, how did you find me? I was hidden in so well. rid of you and I didn't get my stuff back put bloodstone shards wait if, if he didn't give me my stuff back there's vermin um then where is my stuff dark souls 1 and bloodborne immediately start new game plus once you beat the game the rest makes an option Right, and that's why I, that's why we're doing the DLC right now. Oh, one of the ravens. Well. Oh, come on. There we go. Gotta heal up, though. Blood vial. But yeah, that's the reason why we're doing the DLC now. Making sure to get it done before we beat the final boss. Guessing... Yeah, this path leads over here. Okay. The hell? Excuse me. Um, I guess that's nothing. That was weird. That was weird. Wait, is that a new weapon? It is. A trick weapon cra crafted by the work workshop heretics. The powder keg. The powder kegs and the weapon of choice of the old hunter Valtir, the beast eater. This weapon pummels beasts in its mace form, but its true strength lies in its, in its attached mechanical saws. These discs lined with serrated teeth spin rapidly, thrashing the fle flesh of beasts into fine shreds. No, I was referring to the one that the raven had, because I already died to the hunter. I already died to the hunter, so I knew I lost the one in the arena. Yeah, apparently the raven had it. Alright, now we'll head to the boss. Again. As far as I know, there's no other reason to explore here, and that guy's just already attacking me. He's very rude. I have done nothing to him. Well, it's probably... probably. Okay... Now, where is the lady that was chasing me down? She's sitting in a corner somewhere. She must be. There you are. I still don't know where you actually came from.
Where did you actually go? Were you hiding like in that corner right there? I don't know. Well, it's boss fight. Hold on. Let's try it again. behind him. Come on. Hammer! Perfect. Might as well heal up after that. Ugh, come on. Yeah, that didn't go well. I'm assuming he's part beast. I'm assuming he's part beast. Wonder if the saw blade would be any better. Yeah. The problem is, like, the saw blade's base damage is just not as good as the hammer, but it does attack faster. Did I find the shortcut? I don't know. I don't know if there is another shortcut. The fact that I'm starting here, though, is already closer, which is already good enough. I did find it, okay. Okay, so where is this woman that was chasing me down? I don't see her. Oh, there you are. There you go. Got rid of you. Okay, I guess I'll try the saw blade on him. Let's see how much damage we could deal. Maybe attacking more quickly is better than getting him a charge shot in. I deal decent damage. Okay, getting a full charge shot with this thing is actually pretty strong. If I'm able to, anyway. charge at me. Come on, heal. Oh my god. Oh, great. I don't even know what that was. 
Actually, charge shot didn't do as much as I thought. Never mind. Okay. So blade has shorter charge time for melee weapons. Yeah, the charge time wasn't that you know, you could get the full charge shot in, but honestly, just hitting him like two times with the melee attack, like the quick one, dealt about the same amount of damage. I could instead go with this variant so I have more reach. More reach, more power, slower attack speed. We can try that. Now, he is a beast. I could throw cocktails. I could also go back to Hunter's Dream and turn the saw blade into a fire weapon. I could turn it into a fire weapon for extra damage. Because, oh, oops. Because even if my physical attack is at 30, Arcane is at 17. And because he is a beast, Making it a fire serrated weapon will probably outdo my f normal physical strength. So that's not the worst idea. It's not the worst idea. That I didn't even really get a chance. And I lost everything, that's for sure. Don't you just hate it when you do a boss attempt and you basically didn't even get to try to attempt to do anything? Those are always the fun attempts. I'm gonna try again, as is. I don't think there's any reason to go after you. Honestly, leaving you leaving you alone is for the best. Can I just Okay, he doesn't seem to notice me. All right. Try it again. Ludwig, I have come to bargain. Honestly, it's not much extra damage. There's not much difference in damage. So, okay, 218. Heal. I dealt more damage on my base form. I thought the other one had more power to it. Okay. So the base saw blade is stronger than the extended one. Maybe it's one of those I technically hit it in the wrong spot so it didn't get as didn't get the full hit. Kind of like with the Kirk hammer, if I don't directly hit with the hammer, I deal like a third of the normal damage or something like that. Okay. 
I'm going to turn the saw blade into a fire weapon and see what kind of damage we're talking. I can use fire paper, but at least with the saw blade, I could just change it to a fire weapon with a gem. So right now I just have a physical attack up by 12. Oops. What the? Oh, geez, I got a lot of these. Okay, so we have a fire attack up 8.4. And as you can kind of see, we, we end up with the same base physical attack, but way less... You can see this this is a 145 and this is a 39. And I get a slight HP regen. What we're hoping for right. I, I, I needed to go the other way. I am checking to see if the serrated edge and the fire damage, you know, quadruple and see if I deal more for this. My arcane is currently at, I believe, 17, so it's not that bad. A little more than half of my strength stat, so something. Let's give it a go. Test runs. That's always fun. I don't know if running would aggro him. But at least walking at full speed is fine. Okay. Obviously, she has magic defense. Makes sense. I think these are still kind of a two-hit KO. But it's not a good sign. Not a good sign. But I want actual numbers. Ludwig, I've come to bargain. Nope, less damage. Yep. Less damage. Ah, oh, come on. I gotta get this timing right. That wasn't ideal. It wasn't full damage. Oh my god, that deals so much damage! Okay. Putting the saw blade back. Hey, Pikachu, how's it going? Superman Souls. Yeah, I mean, Superman Souls a lot of people. Yeah, he'll need hip surgery, that's for sure. 
And this is the eat. This is the easiest boss of the DLC. Oh my god. Yeah, but he hasn't popped in chat. I'm assuming he's. Uh, I'm assuming whoever hasn't popped in chat is just using it for background noise. That's why I don't really acknowledge unless you pop in chat. But yeah, I gotta turn the saw blade back into a physical weapon. Gotta do this. Physical attack up is just too good. Can I have a better like physical attack? Yeah, I could turn it into just a basic arcane weapon, but now nah, I'm gonna do that. You think? I, I I think how it works, Pikachu is Pikachu is the first time you pop into chat at any point in time is when it creates a little avatar for you. But then after that, it's like saved. So if you're watching the stream the avatar pops up but it doesn't mean you have typed in chat for this stream i'm assuming that's how it works can i do okay increase stamina cost for way more attack oh my god 19.8 but attack versus kin is lowered Honestly, that's an interesting trade-off. I might actually... They call me the drink. Vegeta is the cup for he is my father. Ah, uh, yes. I was the juice... When I was a kid, I was the juice box. And now I am the drink. H HP decrease... Oh, no, I don't want that. But attack versus kin. Down by nearly 10%. Honestly, I might actually consider that. Probably swap it with one of the other ones. Another attack versus kin down? Ooh, we can stack some of these. Definitely don't want that. HP depletes. Okay, hold on. So we're keeping this. This 12.6. I am going to equip attack versus kin down. And I'm going to also equip this other attack versus kin down. Look at that attack power. Look at it. Oh, it's great. 211. That's going to deal some damage. Wait, hold on. Let me check something. Versus kin attack down. Versus kin attack down. Okay, I don't have the HP decrease. That's good. Why do I keep going this way when the grave that I need to examine is on the other side. I'm, I'm just used to going the other way. Kin won't fear me. Yes, especially since I dropped it down to like 80%. Or, eight, like, it's even less. Uh, but everything else will fear me. Actually, oh yeah, so the, the attack boost only is on the saw blade. Actually, hold on. I just just thought of something. What do I have in here? Stamina plus 10, plus 15. That's fine. Visceral attack. More HP from Visceral. More blood echoes. Physical damage reduction by 3%. I could swap this out because he's not using Arcane. All damage reduction to 4%. Honestly, that's better than this. <laughs> Resistance for poison. More echoes. More items from fallen enemies. T beast transformation. Okay, hold on. I just realized something. I probably should have done this for a while. I could probably boost my physical defense. Um, 
I think I I think I'd be okay with using this. Or even this. I fold. Blood defense. Fine. This ain't bad. That ain't bad. Cage. No. Not that. Yeah. Change my outfit around. Get some more defense. Hunter's Garb doesn't seem that bad. Take a look. I don't think he uses bl uh, blunt or thrust attacks, so probably just base physical defense will be enough. Just kind of want to take a look around and see if there's anything. Chainhurst? Or Canehurst? Yeah, maybe. That's probably better. Right, I still need to get rid of Alfred. I forgot about that. Okay, let's start with that as a base. Uh, that'll work. Kanehurst. No, Constable's gloves. There we go. I already have 60 defense. That's a little bit better. Okay. And the next time I go back to Hunter's Dream, I should swap my thing to from arcane resistance to seven to all damage reduction, 4%. Actually, you know one thing we could do? I mean, these are well hidden. But, hold on. You could point me in the right direction to uh, collect these things. There might be a useful one that might be better. Because I'm, I'm most likely missing a lot. Nah, not not needed. Oh my god, okay. That was good damage. I'm gonna run. Okay, running wasn't good. And my god, that was a one hit KO. That was a one-hit KO. That sucks. I felt like I survived it with one, with the other set of uh, armor. Is that not a physical attack? Well, I'm going back and swapping my stuff around. Try to get at least four percent damage reduction for everything. That might be. Okay. Oh wait. 
I want to swap this one to, there we go, a region near death. Yeah, that's better. I'm not sure what else I can even do. When it comes to the base game, I could go back and fight Alfred, and then it's final boss. So we're saving that for last. So it's really just Alfred and maybe hunt for these things. The runes that I'm missing that could potentially help me. But other than that... I don't think there's anything else I could do. My saw blade's at level 9. So it's already really good. Come on. And I think I gave it probably the best blood gems I could possibly give. Listen, Ludwig just wanted to be a centaur. Because he's like part horse now. That's all he wanted. He just wanted to be a horse. He wanted to be a centaur. Oh my god. And I'm dead. And you're saying this is the easiest of the five. I'm not really sure what else I could do. Except level grind. Level grind, get some extra defense. Boost one of my other stats, like go back to boosting strength or something. I don't know. I kept trying to get my stuff. It wouldn't let me have my stuff. It's not like I had much to begin with. Okay, I managed to dodge it. Oh my god, come on. Maybe it's better to dodge to the right of him instead of the left. Oh, come on! Okay, so if he uses that magic breath... Dodge to the left. Yeah. No stuff for me. Yeah. No stuff for me at all. I was, I'm pretty sure I was right next to it. It was just like not letting me grab it. Oh well. Again, it's not like I had much anyway. 
But yeah, maybe I'll dodge to the right of him instead. Maybe I'm more likely to dodge his attacks if I do that. But when he does the breath move, dodge to the left. I'll try that. I tried to- oh my god, come on. I hate runs like this. Barely get to do much. Yeah, they they don't count. When when you only get like zero to two hits in, and then the boss just wombo combos you, it th those fights don't count. They never count. All right. Try again. Oh no, come on. No, lock on. I blame the lock on. It wouldn't activate. So I couldn't dodge properly. I'm blaming the game on that one. I really don't like the lock-on in this. One, it's the same as, you know, moving the control stick. And... It's... Because he... It's not... I, I think I'm used to Kingdom Hearts in that case. Kingdom Hearts... The enemy just needs to be, like, in the same area as you. And the camera will just automatically lock onto an enemy. Whereas, no, they need to be on screen for it to work. You fail, guess what? It's facing the same direction as you. And it's also a different button than turning the camera. So it's very easy to get dis disoriented in this. Try again. There we go. Come on. Let's... I'm not getting far. Like, this isn't... I'm not getting far with this fight. Man, the DLC was kind of made with... Uh you beating the game in mind and being very good at the game at the base game as it is huh it's like the game already assumes you have mastered the base game as it was yeah. 
it is kind of a skill check. But, like, the way to get here wasn't that bad. The boss itself, though, that's definitely a skill check. Dodged at the wrong time. Maybe what I need to do... I think I need to do kind of a similar strategy for when I fought Amelia. Back away so that it uses more specific attacks. Because when I fought Amelia, I was I backed away. And when it did a when Amelia did a lunch attack that uh, gave me plenty of it was telegraphed enough for me to dodge. And then punish. But when I was too close, it was kind of difficult to tell what she was about to do. Oh, I didn't realize I'm low on potions. I'm going to have to restock. Man, it's eating my bullets. Come on. Okay. Gotta find a time. Oh, come on. Even if that was a timing, I didn't do it right. Did get hit by the bullet. Like, that's the move I want to be able to dodge. Back away, back away. Okay. I need to back up and get some potions. I could not get a timing for the bullet. Time to restock. Again, I will use 
maybe two of these bold hunters marks. Yeah, maybe I'll use about two of them. Man, if it wasn't for this uh, for this dungeon, grinding for potions would take forever. Kind of already was the first couple streams for this. It just makes things go faster. Man, imagine how uh, how much of this game I'd still have to do. If I had, if I was grinding for potions like normal without the chalice. Oh, okay, I almost did it too soon. I got all the stuff. Buy. I think I will restock on my uh, hunter's marks, and then everything else goes in potions. So let's see. I'll buy three. Having even twenty. Everything three hundred and forty-two. There we go. That's definitely enough. Can I can I get anything out of this? Nothing I would want. I could get a blood rock and power up my saw blade to level 10. It would use most of my insight, but I don't use my insight anyway. Nothing else. I got the 4% one, right? Yeah. The other option is to do some level grinding. Try to boost my defense a little bit more. That would be another option. You know what? Instead of going back, at least not right now, let's go back and fight Alfred. Wait, is, is it here? No, I thought King Harris was here. Banded old workshop. Which, what place was the abandoned old workshop? I don't remember. You still do a lot of damage. Well, I could do a lot of damage too. My attack might be too slow. Up. 
Oh, Alpha can potion too. Oh, that's cheap. Okay, he did something. I don't know what. Oh, okay. Subways. Nope. One more. There we go. Blood drag. Radiance. What is a blood drag? Oh, I can use some of these now. I'm not really arcane player yet or anything blood trick okay available blood to cane hearse blood lusting hunters see these frightful things in the cold blood they often appear in the blood of echo fiends that is to say the blood of hunters queen annalise partakes in these blood drags offerings so that she may one day bear the child of blood the next veil blood heir so does this do anything finite what does this do? Actually, what does this do as well? well that's about it. One, make sure. Got that done. Well, we took took care of Alfred. Wasn't that bad. If I lost, I would have came in with numbing miss. Because he could heal. Okay, hold on. We got a new rune. Let me go ahead and check. Vial HP recovery up. Actually, that's... You know what? That will be helpful. Alright. Other than powering up the saw blade, I don't know what else I could do. Which I could spend 60 insight for. I also have plenty of madman's knowledge I can use up. Again, I, other than just learning his pattern, the other things I could do is really just look for better runes. And I have no idea where they would be. Or do some level grinding. That's all I can think of. I... You know... I could swap those blood gem effects to the Kirkhammer. Because it is stronger. Let me do a damage comparison right now. 369 with a single hit. And that's with all the power boosts. 305. Without all the power boosts. Maybe I can use the, the hammer. The hammer seems to be my go-to.
heal up. Oh, phase two. Or something. What are you talking about? My My guiding uh, the Moonlight Sword? <laughs> oh, okay then. Phase two. to get used to is a new new attack pattern and that's a huge sword i hope it shrinks when we beat <laughs> when we beat him so we can use it because I, I i i don't think we could carry that sword i think i'll just go again as is hey lord jefferson how's it going Yeah, I think I might just go again as is, but I may consider giving the blood gems from the saw blade, the two uh, that boost damage by like, what, 12%, move those two to the hammer, because I think I could deal a ton more damage that way. The trade-off is speed. What you miss? Uh, messed around with the DLC a lot, made it to Rud Ludwig, been stuck there. Uh, I quickly went back to defeat Alfred because I remembered that I can still do that. Swapped my stuff around because I'm still fighting. Uh, oh, when did I get that? Anyway, uh, I still have these equipped. I swapped to just general damage reduction with the saw blade. I equipped it two blood gems for physical attack up by nearly 20% each, but at the trade off for minus 10% uh, kin. And luckily, he's not a kin, so, you know, it works out. But I'm thinking I might swap those two blood gems for my Kirk Hammer. Oh, my Kirk ha Hammer is at level 10, by the way. Uh. The Kirk Hammer is already stronger, as is. So I'm actually am considering changing those two around. Final boss is Kin or the DLC. That's fine. I just need to get past Ludwig. I just need to get past Ludwig right now. He's a beast. I wasn't close. Oh, he bit me. Phase two? Not yet.
Now we're at phase two. I could dodge a little bit easier, but I'm still not used to his phase two attack pattern. It's hard for me to kind of listen to the soundtrack when I'm so focused on trying to defeat a boss. I haven't hated like any of the boss fights, but I couldn't like I couldn't hum them to you, you know what I mean? Alright. I'm thinking of swapping those blood gems. I'm going to be trading speed with the saw blade. And I can usually get maybe two hits with that, but maybe the Kirkhammer with its just pure power is better. Reduce stamina costs. Yeah, I'll try that. Then. We'll, we'll just do that for now. I just need, need him swapped off. Okay. I am keeping the blunt attack. 9%, 12. So far, 12 is the best one. Oh, wait a minute. Look here. So the blunt attack up is at 8.8%, but if I do this, it's the same power anyway. There we go. Impurity rune. The blue one and summon the guy by the ravens and Ludwig fight is a little bit easier, even if it gets more health because of the summon. I, so far, I have not fought and I have not defeated any of the boss fights with the with the help of assists. And right now, I think I want to try to keep it that way. Okay, what is this? Attack up 9.1. Okay, I think we can go ahead and swap it to this. And this one, 18%. No, not that one. A slight damage boost. But I think that'll work. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Yeah, just trying. I keep going the wrong way. Yeah, just trying different things. See what works. Yeah, so far I have not defeated, like, I managed to defeat all the bosses solo without the need of any sort of assists. And I'm going to see if I could try to keep it that way. If you end up playing Elden Ring in the DLC, Igor is a Mando summon for the Bale boss fight, if only for the well, voice lines alone. Okay. Well, I don't know well when I'll eventually get to Elden Ring. I mean, like I said, I have it, but I can't really stream it. Apparently, uh, my computer can't handle everything. So I would need to pick up a physical copy at some point if I wanted to do that. And for right now, I'm fine with just Bloodborne. Okay, we're going to see how much damage I can deal with the hammer now. 420. And sometimes I could get another hit in.
Okay. Yeah, I didn't make it out there. It's not much more damage than I thought. So, with the saw blade, I am more likely to get two hits in and not get hurt, which means I deal more damage than the hammer. But with the hammer, sometimes I can get two hits in there. And, well, the one time I got hit, but the other time I stunned. But I bet if I manage to get a full charge shot in there, like after I stun Ludwig, that's going to be a lot of damage. So I don't know. Honestly, having these blood gems on either the saw blade or the hammer is kind of... Do I want speed? Or do I want power? Hate that move. Nah, I can't get close. Not in time. One, two, three, four. Back away. Heal up. And I'm dead. I died because I got caught in a corner and couldn't get away. I honestly, that's just the most annoying reason to die. You're trapped in a corner. You try dodging. Well, guess what? You're pinned. You're getting hit and you're going to die. Try again. You'd lose. Good day, sir. Try again. That's what we're talking about. Back 
away. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I thought I tried dodging, but maybe my... Maybe I accidentally hit the attack button. I don't know. I thought that was a stun, never mind. Yeah, you can see this is just about as well as I do. I've made it to phase two twice. I haven't really gotten to learn the pattern for phase two that much. The other, the only other thing I, that I, there's only like two other things I could think of that we could do. Straight up level grind. So I could boost my stats, and mainly defenses, honestly, so it doesn't really matter what I boost. Or, the other option is we go find more of these. But they seem to be hidden really well, so I wouldn't even know where to check. But those are the only two things that I can think of, except just keep bashing my head against this wall right here. Way heal. Good. Uh -huh. Phase two. Moonlight sword. That wasn't the full. T Come on. See what I mean? Haven't even got a good chance to learn phase two that well. Dang it. Just gotta keep going.
I get rid of her so, so she doesn't chase me down, but that's the only thing I need to do. Alright, time to try again. That was barely an attempt. Man, I uh, those attempts are the worst. Barely get to do anything. Oh well. Keep on trying. Apparently, this is the easiest of the bosses in the DLC. So yeah, this is definitely a skill check. For sure. Come on. Okay, fine. Heal up. Yeah, that's a single attack. That can be four. I, okay, I thought I dodged, but okay. Really? Ah, oh, come on. So dumb. That hit, that attack is so strong. If we, if I were to level grind, it would probably just mean running through this entire section of the, the DLC and just trying to make it from one land to the, to the other, right? Probably. That'd probably be the best way. And equip some of those... Uh, those runes that increase the amount of echoes that I get. And that's the thing. I know this game is... This game is probably possible if basically at level one. So really, this is just a skill issue, more or less. 
Well, and by that argument, this entire game is a skill issue, then. Oh, I'm thinking about it. Two more. Come on. I'm over here. I could have taken advantage of that, but nope. Wasn't able to. Ow. Okay, fine. Where am I? Two more. Oh, different attack. onto him. Oh my god. Heal up. One more. Damn it. Phase two. Getting very difficult to figure out his face too. Maybe I could try doing a little bit of level grinding in this area. Yeah, maybe I could do a little bit. How much does this give me? Okay, 2,000. It's kind of good. And I already know I can't really sneak up behind this guy. Oh, actually I can. I don't know why it didn't really take. I can explore this area for a little bit. There's probably stuff that I missed. So let's see, there's the ladder. I'm gonna check this way. There's gotta be, yeah, there's stuff that I missed. Butcher's mask. Or just butcher's equipment. Not gonna be helpful. All right. So that's back here, okay. Nothing else. Yeah, I 
think that's I think that's all in this area. Don't think there's any way up there. Yeah, I'm gonna backtrack. Basically grab basically level grind and see if I could get a level. Alright, oh, uh weapons. Uh I got the Beast Hunter Scythe. That's already there. I got the Beast Cutter. I killed Simon. <laughs> and I got his bow blade. I jumped the gun and attacked him thinking it was just a normal hunter. Oops. And I couldn't de-aggro him. I didn't know how. And I got the Whirly Gig Saw. Is that all I got? Yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, rip indeed. I was going to say, I know there's a guy here. I got to heal. Really? Oh my god. Warrior Geek saw is crazy good. Hmm. Be nice. Be nice to have. But right now, I'm just so invested with my saw blade and my Kirk hammer that I'm kind of just. I feel like I'm just kind of stuck with it now. Like, I'm, I'm committed, you know? Come on, I missed. Ah, oh, great. Great, both of them are aggroed. If I die, this was all a waste. This was a waste of time. Uh, come on. Transform is basically a chainsaw. It's how most of your runs go. Set yourself up for a weapon or two. Yeah, basically, once you pick, like, two of your weapons, it just feels like you're just committed to those two weapons. Like, I, I already, like, heavily invested on these two. To the point where if I try to really boost another weapon, I'd probably just be spending a ton of time just grinding to power them up to make them comparable to these two. Come on, get out of this attack. It was retrieved, I think, and then lost. Did I actually get them back? I don't even know. Or did I die too soon? What happened there? I could, I could ignore these two and just fight everyone else. I could do that. They are the most annoying things. Okay. Wait, the hunter's not there. 
That's strange. I thought they respawned. Oh, there he is. all the crows it's hard to target him good again all these kills right here just added up to one of those giants basically it's totally worth it <laughs> clearly Again, I don't know what this thing is. This thing just seems to be here now. Holly, are you okay? What's going on? Oh, anyway. Yeah, let me get out of this. Stop late. Doing okay. There's a guy back here. Or not. What the... I, there was a guy back here last time. Well, get rid of the doggos. Uh... Whatever I had on before with the saw blade was a lot stronger because I was able to two hit KO him. There's nothing else I could do. So, on my own time, I was playing Pokemon TCG Pocket. And I managed to get, like, the Lapras event done. I did all the things, but, like, the other event I need to work on now is uh is basically an online pvp event when x amount of things you get emblems and i think they're permanent they are permanent emblems showing that hey you played the game during this time and got these emblems how many times do you need to win i don't know to get the next rank i need to win 20 25 times so it'll take a while oh that's just rude how'd you even know i was here Waste of time. I don't know where else what else to do. I'm not good enough at fighting these enemies to really get a lot of the levels out of them. Not good at defeating Ludwig. Hmm. Without using the Chalice Dungeon for level grinding. Because I need to leave that blank. Yeah, the Bloodsuckers are just not fun to fight.
Hmm. I mean, if I continued on that chalice dungeon... The level grinding one. And I just move on into it. A lot of the enemies that eventually I do fight can probably give me decent EXP. I don't know. Close enough. Um. I'm honestly starting to get annoyed. What's a good place to level grind? That's not just grinding in that level grinding dungeon. Actually, you know what I could do instead? Let's see if I can beat that fire dog. Because if I wanted to gain a level, I could go to that level grinding dungeon, you know, get one level out of it. And then try again, but I, after a certain point, gotta ask, like, how long before I do that, something like that again. Uh, do, do, do. Over here. Nightmare of Mensis with the pigs. Okay. I can consider that. One hit KOs. That's nice. I, obviously, I'm not getting much out of it, but that's okay. Let's see if we can beat the fire dog. So, is this the only way to fight the fire dog? Is going into a chalice dungeon? Because so far, we ha I haven't seen that enemy. Yeah, I am way overpowered for this fight. Look at how much damage just a few swings of this hammer do. Uh, do. Also, I do have basically beast effectiveness with this weapon. So that helps. Too strong. Got another chalice, fire blood gemstone. Is this how you get more chalices? You complete a chalice that you already unlocked? Because I only got like the four before this. In a deeper dungeon, there's an upgraded fire doggo. They can one-shot you even at max health. That's annoying. And I really didn't get much EXP out of that. Molly, hey. hey. So, Molly, stop. Stop. 
She's being needy. Uh, so at this point, when it comes to this chalice, this is too weak for me to level grind with. So would the idea be that I remove the chalice and swap it with a different one that's stronger at this point? Use the griffs to do foul steps, which is what you recommend. And it's doing the legit, like, pain, but, hmm. Okay, so you were saying Nightmare of Mensis. Let me look. That is over here. Come on. No. All right, front here. Oh, wait, there it is. Nightmare of Mensis. And I need to fight the pigs? The pigs. Are you talking about in the castle when uh, they just poison me? Or am I thinking of a different enemy? Uh, I'm going to step away for a minute. I think I'm going to let my dog out. Take care of a couple things. Uh, BRB.
Okay, I am back. Uh, that code is a good file of steps for leveling if I don't want to use the normal level grinding dungeon or the money grinding dungeon. May consider it. Actually, I'm just now remembering something. I don't remember if I checked a certain area. There was a section where I could have gone downstairs. I think it's back this way. I think I, you know what, I probably needed to go to the other lantern. Oh well. Yeah, this section. I went upstairs. Thirty-one. Okay, you know what? That that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That gives me more than the giants. And they're way easier to kill. Yeah, this ain't bad. This is not bad. Right. Blood gem. Nothing else. We're good. A moon rune. Oh, okay. So we got three of these. So if I really want Blood Echoes, I could just stack all three of these and get a bunch of them. Now I know for a fact that I can't level up with that. But I got close, I think. At least I think so. I think I need nearly somewhere between 17k and 20k to level up. Okay, yeah, maybe we'll try that chalice that you brought up. Right. These things. How much do I get from the puppets? Do I even get anything? No, not really. It's just kind of a waste of time. And I can't move forward. Oh, it's because the bridge is up there. All right, well, that was a waste. I don't remember going this way. Oh, another way around. That's good to know. That leads back here. Of course, there was another one. Yeah, okay, so I don't get too much for the dogs. And I could take the elevator back up. This, that leads to the wet nurse.
How much do I get for these guys? Two thousand? Five hundred? Or nearly? That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, I, I should be able to level up with this. I'm heading back. At least one level. Here and I can head back. Now, should I boost strength or should I just boost the stats that I really? What is my problem? It's not really attack. Attack is not really the problem. Honestly, I just want the extra defense. At least I think that's what I want. Let. Oh, I can't even level up anyway. I didn't even realize I need 36. Never mind. All right, let, let's check this chalice dungeon you're talking about. Move chalice. Search. And we're going to type in JGN to... J K K W J G N two J K K W. Let's try that. So supposedly, this is a good level grinding dungeon without using the the easily broken. Uh, other one we've been using to get items. Let's take a look. Once it loads. There we go. There's a doorway this way. Giant rats. How much EXP? 3,000! Oh, well, this is already useful. That is very rude of you, sir. Let me get out of the way. Okay. Good. Nope. Okay. This guy's really strong, but I made it work. Don't need bullets. Cold blood. I keep I have a bunch of those. Why am why am I not using them? I could probably gain some levels just by using those alone. What else do we got here? Cold blood. Let's see. Don't see much. Six thousand just for that kill, and again I have no moon runes. Shiny coins. Am I trapped. There we go. Okay, 
Okay, this is just a small area. We're good. And I died to rats. This is a good place to level grind without just cheesing. Okay, good. The, that's working. I can literally just go get my stuff back and then leave, and I should be able to level up with that. Haven't even opened the main door yet. Never mind, I lost everything. The rats and dogs are the most dangerous part of any Soulsborne game? Yeah, pretty much, because there's a bunch of them, they attack fast, and they swarm. Honestly, it's almost like a Zerg rush. I haven't even played StarCraft, but still. With how many rats were in that one room, it kind of feels that way. can't shoot me from there. There, making some progress. I think you just have bullets. All right, got to get rid of you first. Forgot about you. Get the one right in front of me. And what do you mean you're still alive? Okay, whatever. Ugh. Like there's Isn't there another one? I guess I killed it. I guess I killed the other one. Just the big guy. Okay. I can't stagger. Not really. Sometimes I can. Oh, back away, back away. Heal up. Well, at least I didn't, you know, die out of that. Blood gems. What do you... Just get a lot of... Oh, an extremely preci precious blood gem. Okay. I was very confused. Odian Wraith. Okay. What does that do? Visual attacks. Grant Quicksilver Bullets. That's useful if you're trying to do, like, a parry-only run. 
That's useful. Oh, that is so useful. I didn't I didn't really think there were runes in these chalice dungeons. I thought the runes were only going to be in like the like the base game. Third level in the dungeon has a blood rock. Okay. That's nice. Uh, I have enough insight to just buy one if I wanted to. So, I again, I could make my saw blade levels 10. Four thousand. Yeah, there's a lot of EXP here. Potion. What else do we got? Okay, fire enemy. That's n wasn't even facing me. Good, 4,000. A lot of EXP here. Nothing? Just an upper area? Oh, uh, looks that way. Looks like there's nothing in this room. Okay. Time to head back. Go back downstairs and then go through the main door, I think. No other pathway. Nope. All right, back to the main room. Open this door. And another lantern. Well, I might as well cash in. Might as well. If you're just going to give me a lantern right there, might as well cash in on my levels. Okay. How many levels can I get out of that? Two levels. So is that as we are kind of looking at, I'm not getting much if I just put in strength, although I get a little bit more for the Kirk Hammer. Yeah, I get like five strength just for the Kirk Hammer alone. Oh, and my defense is only going up by one. Was it always the case for my defense? No, it went up at by three before. Oh, I'm not gonna get much. Okay, what's really important? Discovery is going up by three and four. Skill does boost my damage. Yeah, I know 99's the hard cap. 20 is the first soft cap and then 50. Oh, I thought... You mentioned 30 was the soft cap, but okay. Or someone mentioned 30 was. Skill boosts my damage, but not nearly enough as my strength. Blood tinge boosts gun. By a little bit. Okay, what's really important? Against the boss fight, I need defense, which anything does it. 
Oh, what is this note? Four and three. 30 is the soft cap for health and endurance. The damage stats are 20. Okay. I see. I could get a lot of health by going with HP. And I still get defense. What's my problem with the boss fight? Honestly, it's just, I think it is really just defense for the boss. I think boosting anything will, will be fine. Okay. Farewell, good hunter. May you... So... You know what? I think I'm going to ask. Um, some of these runes. I know there's... I don't know how many there are. But is there a clockwise metamorphosis that has a better HP boost? And what about... A damage reduction, whether it's all damage reduction or physical damage reduction. That's better than what I have. Because I think either of those would be good. Because 3% or 4% is not much. Granted, this arcane 1 by 7% is probably the best I have. But when it comes to physical damage, I have to use this. Yeah. Uh... If they're in the base game, should we go find it? I don't know. I would need to be pointed in those directions because I don't. I wouldn't even know where to check. Oh wait, there's something I can do. There is something I can do. Let's use all this up. <laughs> Let's use this up. We're going to gain a bunch of levels out of this. Oh, whoops. Now's the time to, like, now's the time to spam this. Oh, those are dungeon ones? Okay. Dang it. Never mind then. Yeah, might as well use these up. I've been hoarding them. Slash forgetting that I have them. It's going to take a little bit. Use this all up. Ah, dang it. Oh well. I have plenty. I can restock. Yeah, now we're getting into the really low amounts of EXP. Yeah, if there are any left in the base game, I have no idea where to even look.
so if you're saying like the better ones are just gonna be in dungeons then I think we'll uh, just have to deal without it almost done This is blood sheets, a community made data sheet for false death dungeons. Find certain items, weapons, and gems. Okay. Alright, I used up all my echoes. Go ahead. Yeah, because I really just care about defense. It doesn't really matter what I boost. Alright. That really wasn't that much. Wait, how, how much EXP do I need for one more level? 42? Okay, that's not much. That's not much. Hold on. Just like a couple kills. A couple kills will give me it. Okay, let me take a look at... Let me take a look at this. So there's a clock lot there is a clockwise metamorphosis in the dungeon you sent me. The Orden right and the clockwise. Okay. So I could I could get more HP if I explored this dungeon a little bit more. things. I think one more should do the trick. There we go. That's enough for another level. That way I'm not wasting my stuff on items or something. And again, I, I I know I asked this before, but is there a reason to have a high enough insight? I know it allows you to see other enemies and it's basically just a difficulty setting, more or less. But I'm wondering if I should use 60 of them to just get a blood, uh, what was it, a blood rock to get the level 10 saw blade. It is worth it, okay. Farewell, good so, if the insight is basically a difficulty setting, because certain enemies pop in or get harder or something, when you have a high enough insight, what is the, the least amount of insight you need to be able to see everything. 
Or, yeah. There's no point in having more than one. No, right, okay. I, I don't know if I'm asking the right questions. Either way, level 10. There we go. Saw Blade is also level 10. What was I putting here? Oh, yeah. Uh, da, 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 you. Okay. I guess I'll just head back, try again with my extra defenses. By the way, I currently have HP, stamina, and I have more recovery from potions. So that's what I currently have. Yeah, 99 is capped for insight. So eventually I would need to spend more. I don't know. Okay. Let's just try it again. Just getting one insight lets you level up. Yeah, I remember that. Before ROM, 14 insight makes you see the creatures. Anything after that is just a buff to enemies. Okay. So in all reality... Oh, great. The cat's... Let's hope he calms down. I might have to step away if the cat, you know, starts being annoying. Uh... So really, after you beat Rom, it really doesn't matter. Wait, maybe, I, maybe I'm maybe i confusing. When it comes to insight, when you say there's 1 in 14, right? Do you always need to have one insight to actually talk to the doll? Or is it just a... Like, as soon as you get one at, at any time, you can still uh, talk to the doll. So, like, if I spend all my insight and end up with zero, am I still able to talk to the doll? There's an Easter egg as 60 insight. The music changes in the hunter's dream. Oh. One, one insight in going into the hunter's dream? I don't know if that was true. I, I There was a little bit of time before I could level up, so I don't think that was actually the case. No, I pressed the button to heal. Why didn't it take? Honestly, his screams are just kind of getting on my nerves. Those extra points of defense really didn't add much. Yeah, I would need a lot more for it to really matter. If you, if you spend that insight, you can talk to the doll until you leave the dream. Then you need one insight again. Oh, okay. But since I defeated Rom, at this point, all that matters is if you have a single point of insight, just so you can level up. That's all that matters. Okay. So 
So do all enemies get a buff, including bosses, the more insight you have? Or is it just regular enemies? Tried healing way too late. Dead. Oh, come on. Certain enemies like the church people or winter lanterns. Okay. So it's only very specific enemies. Okay. So it really doesn't matter. All right. As long as I have one insight, that's all that matters. Not sure what else I could do. away back come, come on back away there we go no no charge shot Okay, I, that wasn't full damage. That kind of sucks. Kinda lucked out there. Oh my god. Come on. No. Can't get close. Gone. No, 
No, none of that. Come on. There we go. Phase two. Okay. <sighs> okay. I need something else. Boosting my arcane should probably help with this fight. Because that's magic damage. So it was smart of me to do that. But even so... It is still... Where's my... 24? Yeah. I'm still already- I'm still having trouble just getting through phase one most of the time. I can't consistently get to phase two. Which makes me dying in phase two super quickly, like, it's very hard to learn when it's difficult to get back. Alright, try again. Phase two. Ugh. Yeah, this is this is a hard fight. It's so difficult to attempt to learn phase two right now. Okay. This is not an easy fight. This is not easy. I think the last time I was struggling on bosses was just the first couple. Attack flow gets disrupted. Because how random phase one is compared to phase two. So you're saying phase two is a bit more predictable. <sighs> you feel the first phase is harder than the second one. The problem is trying to have any blood vials as you can for phase two. It's hard to 
it's hard regardless, right? Really? Ugh. That's why you can't be directly behind him. Because he'll just buck you. Come on. Potion. Thank you. Oh my god. Come on. No. I'll take it. No, 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 no! when you get trapped in the corner I knew that I knew that was it um he attacks like a normal boss that's different phase one is harder than two and why the music is a wreck for phase one but in phase two it becomes a waltz ah So, I kind of already have an idea of how to deal with Phase 1, even though it's pretty erratic, like you mentioned. It's kind of hit and miss on the consistency, though. So, with Phase 2, I just gotta find the right time to punish. And I gotta stop spamming the dodge and be time it better. Come on, get out of there, come on. How come that didn't do much? wasn't close enough. Phase two. The summon helps for phase one. Hmm. Okay. Back 
away. Back away. Away. I didn't I didn't realize what was happening. Back away, back away, back away. Oh, that is not Okay, I survived that. Away. Okay. Nope. Back away. Back away. Heal. I pressed the dodge. Back away, back away. I did a little bit better. That was better. Okay, hold on. Summon the purple horse to help against this boss. The guy with the pizza cutter can only bring good things. Lugu the Holy Blade isn't a bad fight. The curse sucks. Song is good. Yeah, based on what I caught. Sounded good. Took you about 60 tries on phase one alone. Damn. So I think... Because I got caught with the big laser. That's how I died. So if he's charging for that, I need to get behind him. Rush towards him. He'll miss the beam, allowing me to get a couple hits in. Yeah, I could probably get a charge shot in. It takes a long time for him to charge that. That should be enough to get a full charge in. He stands around maybe two. I don't know. Okay. One sec. Away. Of course, I didn't get to time it right. Potion. Come on. Back away. Back away.
full charge. There we go. Charge. Thought that was phase two, but no. Oh, let's heal. Phase two. Oh, okay. Too far away. Dodge didn't go off. Not the way I want it. I... whatever. Backing away on this one is good. Oh, potion. There we go. Oh, I got the visceral. Oh, he's charging. Come on. Oh, come on, kid. Okay, I thought there would have been time. I thought there would have been time for a charge. There wasn't. Wait it out, it's fine. Good, good. That's fine, that's fine. I tried. I tried getting a charge. I almost had it. Get out of here. I'm done with this. Who needs summons? Guidance. What does that do? What does that do? Rally potential. Okay. Oh, that is... Oh, that's done. Yeah. Oh my god. BRB for duty section must I? Must talk I. to the horse head. Oh, talk to the horse head. Okay, I'll I'll go back and do that.
I want to make sure that all that was saved up. I can't level up anyway. I'll go and do that. Sorry, I'm still... Still kind of... Uh, my heart's kind of racing from that boss fight, still. Church... Okay, the church chess piece. Okay. I'll keep that. I'll do that. Maybe back at 30 minutes to an hour. Depends on how long it takes. I don't think I'm going to be playing much more anyway. So, yeah. Oh, my God. That took forever. Church chess piece. Doesn't matter which one. Tell me. Okay. Good hunter of the church, have you seen the light? Are my church hunters the honorable Spartans? I hoped they would be. I'm gonna say yes, yeah. Ah, good. That is a relief. To know I did not suffer such denigration. of nights I see the moonlight so, there we go the moonlight sword I figured that's what it was An arcane sword discovered long ago by Ludwig. When blue moonlight dances around the sword and it channels the abyssal cosmos, its great blade will hurl a shadowy light wave. The holy moonlight sword is synonymous with Ludwig, the holy blade, but few have ever set eyes upon on this great blade and whatever guidance it has to offer. It seems to be of a very private, elusive sort. Gotta head out. Have a good rest. Have a good rest of your day, Lord Jefferson. Probably only going to be playing for a little bit longer. Maybe not much longer. Let's take a look around. Potions. Staircase. Okay. Let's take a look up here. Locked, I can't get in. Still can't get in. Well, hi there. There's a guy with a turret. Not a turret, but like a Gatling gun. There we go. One boss down. Four to go. What's, what's in here? Nothing? Okay. Okay, so I can head down there. Cold blood? Okay. Yeah, the sword has been around since Kingsfield. Isn't that game for the PlayStation 1? I think I know of it. I think a friend of mine showed me it. Okay, I'm pointing something out. I think the audio changes. Like, it, like it sounded louder on my left ear when I faced this way, but 
louder in my right ear when I face this way. I don't know. I don't know if that's actually the case that this game does. It just, yeah. I think Kingsfield is on Steam now. I think my friend showed me it, so I think it is on Steam. Okay, he's saying the same thing. What is Kingsfield going for? Let me look. Japanese. Okay, apparently there's two... Oh no, that's Japanese, that's PAL. A complete copy of Keen's Field on PlayStation is 135 bucks. King's Field Hitless Run. Oh no. I would need to play the game just as is first. That seems like the main path. No, it's up here. Okay. Okay, where did this take me? Oh, rats. I was like, what is over here? Is that just the three? Okay. Bloodstone chunk. Sweet. Okay, so just a bunch of books, can't do anything. What do you have? Great, I gotta deal with some hunters. Is this one of those cases where if I defeat him, he disappears for good? If that's the case, it wouldn't be too bad. I'm wasting a lot of potions, but that's okay. Oh my god. I wonder if it would be better to get rid of the long range. Should get their eyes. Their eyes check. He's liver. So it sounds like he will disappear for good if I get rid of him. Uh, I think we'll give that guy another go, and then I will call it. Okay, hide up here. I don't know if I need to take care of the rats. I think 
you know, they could get in my way. It's possible. There we go. Just to make sure. I think... I'm gonna see if I could target the long-range fighter. See if I could get rid of you first. That's usually my go-to. Any sort of pot shots on the normal hunter is also nice. Nope. Okay. Again, it, it kind of seems like if I get rid of either of them, they'll probably disappear for good. So that's just something I'm going to have to take care of next time. I'm going to head back to Hunter's Dream. And then I think I'm just going to call it. Oh, it's nice to be done with Ludwig. That, that's just nice. Honestly, he was really draining me. Kind of low energy right now. And he's the easiest. Oh my god. Well, I think that's a good place to start calling it. Wrapping up. Thanks for everyone who showed up today. I am doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. Wednesdays, Kingdom Hearts 2, the rest Bloodborne. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the About page. Tomorrow, we just continue the DLC and see what hell awaits me. Anyway, have a good day. Later.